What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching the Marvel edition of the Rage Nation Show. This is just a web series where we talk about all things matter me in the world of Marvel films. This is episode number 43. And before I begin, I just got to share with you some really cool photos that were shared to me by a really awesome and creative Rage Nation member. And what we have here is some awesome pumpkin carvings from Marie and her sister. And check this out. This is really, really cool, okay? This is Groot, okay? And here is Link and Zelda and Catwoman. And is that Felicia Hardy and Spider-Man? Okay, well, it looks like it is. And there's uh, Tony Stark as Iron Man. There he is again. And also, check this out. Here's Game of Thrones. Here's Catwoman again. And Harlequin and uh, the Totoro. Very, very awesome. Great job. And wow, that is very, very impressive. Anyways, if you want to see any more of their work, I'm going to leave you the link on the description box below to their their Facebook group. It's called Halloween 2155. And uh, there you have it. So good job and thanks for checking it out. And thanks for showing me. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. Let's talk about some news. And what we got to talk about in this episode is contract deals. We're going to talk about contract deals and also uh, later on in the video we're going to talk about who we can expect to see in the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay, let's start off by talking about multi-picture deals and obviously the big announcement at the Marvel event was of course the announcement of who is going to play Black Panther and that would of course be Shadwick Boseman, the perfect choice for Black Panther. And obviously, whenever you sign with Marvel, you don't just sign for one picture. You always sign for a multi-picture deal, especially if you are playing a costumed character. Okay, now Shadwick Boseman has signed a five-picture deal, which means that he will appear in Captain America Civil War, uh, uh, Black Panther, and also the two... Uh, Avengers Infinity Wars films, part one and part two, which means he's appearing for four films uh, from, eight, from from uh, just for phase three alone, which suggests that he will appear once again as maybe a Black Panther solo film in phase four, because in phase three he's only appearing four times, which means that in phase four he will appear one more time to fulfill his contract until they draft up a new contract for his future appearances. Now, there are some other uh, other uh, uh, characters who have signed multi-picture deals, supporting characters, such as Sebastian Stan, who played Winter Soldier, and he signed a nine-picture deal. Mark Ruffalo has signed a six-picture deal and by, by uh, appearing in... Uh, 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 Avengers Age of Ultron and of course the, the first Avengers film and also the next two Avengers films Infinity War Part 1 and 2 he will have fulfilled four out of a six picture deal okay Anthony, Ma Anthony Mackie has signed a multi-picture deal but it's an undisclosed number Don Cheadle has also signed a multi-picture deal but also no confirmed number Jeremy Renner has signed for th a three picture deal which means that he will appear in Avengers which he's already appeared in Avengers, Age of Ultron, and also probably one of the parts in Infinity War, all right? As for Frank Grillo, who, who played uh, 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 Brock Rumlow, he signed on for an undisclosed number of films, but we can expect to see him in Captain America 3 as Crossbones, okay? So that's all very exciting and interesting. Now let's talk about some exciting news about who we can expect to see in the future Marvel films. Okay, first of all, let's talk about some confirmed stuff. And that is, Kevin Feige confirmed that we will see Loki in both Thor Ragnarok and also Avengers Infinity War. So that's pretty exciting to know that, you know, the, 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 the main villain of the first Avengers film is going to stick around long enough to also appear in Infinity War, which suggests that he's obviously in cahoots with Thanos somehow, one way or in another, okay? So, very, very interesting. Now, here's a little bit of leaked information, okay? And this is also regarding Loki. And you know what? This is kind of spoilerish. So, uh, uh, because he, you know, he wasn't really supposed to talk about this, but apparently Idris Ebla, or Elba, rather, he got a little bit overzealous and he revealed to the telegraph which is a, a, a i believe it's a magazine or, or a website a news website that he will appear in avengers age of ultron 
along with Chris Hemsworth and Tom Hiddleston. Okay, obviously we knew that Chris Hemsworth was going to be there, but apparently this scene, the scene where he he is obviously playing Heimdall, Heimdall, it's he he's in a scene where he's with Thor and Loki. Okay. I don't know, something tells me that this is an end credit scene. I'm just throwing it out there, but it sounds like an end credit scene. The fact that the fact that Joss Whedon was a little bit mad or or rather unimpressed about Idris Elba uh, 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 you know talking about this shows us that it was meant to be a surprise. And I'm just thinking that this is a uh, this is an end credit scene because if uh, if Loki is supposed to appear in Infinity War, then that's supposed to. Uh, this is supposed to be the teaser for that. Okay, so I'm just throwing it out there. But anyways, uh, <laughs> that's what's happening. Heimdall, uh, Thor, and Loki are gonna appear in a scene together. Okay. Anyways, let's go back to talking about some confirmed news with who or which characters are gonna appear in future Marvel films, and that would be Peggy Carter. Remember Haley Atwell? She is the actress who plays Peggy Carter, who appeared in the first Avenger, Captain America the First Avenger, and also Captain America Winter Soldier as an older version of herself. Well, apparently she's going to appear in Ant-Man. You know, that, that's pretty cool, okay? I think that's pretty cool because it's cool when they have characters that tie the films together. They're that glue that ties the films together. It shows us that that connection between the films. Now, in the phase one of the uh, 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 Marvel films, Marvel Cinematic Universe films, the only glue that tied them together was Shield. The appearance of of of, of uh, Agent Coulson and or uh, Nick Fury. Now, this time it's supporting characters uh, uh, who who are you know, who are the glue. So in this case, for Ant-Man, it will be Peggy Carter, of course, played by Hayley Atwell. The reason why um, this this is known, or how, how people or fans found out about this, was that there was a casting company who was looking for a stand-in for Hayley Atwell. This obviously suggests that uh, 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 Hayley Atwell uh, is going to appear in the movie, Okay, so yeah, she will be appearing in, in Ant-Man and she will also be appearing in Avengers Age of Ultron. So, pretty awesome. I gotta say that's pretty awesome. Now let's talk about some actors who are in talks to play some roles in future Marvel films. Uh, the first actor would be, uh, uh, well, female actor, uh, that would be Jessica Chastain. Je Jessica Chastain is is an amazing actress, okay? She was really, really impressive in Zero Dark Thirty, and that's the first time I've ever seen her work, and I'm looking forward to seeing her in Interstellar. Now, to know that she's in talks to play a, 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 a character in Marvel Cinematic Universe, that's pretty exciting. Now, she mentioned in a tweet that it wasn't going to be Captain Marvel, at least not yet. There has been no talks about her appearing as Captain Marvel, so she cannot confirm that, okay? But uh, she did say it was for a Marvel character. She did not say that it's going to be for Captain Marvel. Now, what's very interesting is that she was originally offered the role to play Maya in, in, uh, in Cap in, no, sorry, in uh, Iron Man 3, okay? Iron Man 3 uh, had a character named Maya who was played by Rebecca Hall. Jessica Chastain turned that offer down, uh, turned that role down, and then in the end, it was played by Rebecca Hall. Now the offer's being put up again, obviously because uh, she starred in some, some uh, uh, pretty big movies, uh, like Zero Dark Thirty, and uh, she's shown off how amazing she can be as an actress and in, in a leading role. And so Marvel wants her. Marvel wants her for, for a bigger role. And maybe it's going to be Captain Marvel, the Carol Danvers version of the, of the Captain Marvel character. Uh, but you know what? She's saying that it's not Captain Marvel because they haven't even talked about it. But that doesn't mean she could play Captain Marvel in the future, okay, in, in the Captain Marvel film. All right, so there you have it. But that's not all. LL Cool J made a tweet. LL Cool J made a tweet. LL Cool J made a tweet about being excited about uh, offered a role in Marvel, okay? So who knows who could it be? You know, who really knows? I mean, it could be any role. I mean, you know what? If I had to, to guess, it would be... Um, 
it would be the 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 the, the grand tribesmen in in uh, of um that uh, that uh, 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 um black panther is part of t'challa okay he's part of a tribe right uh uh well you know he has family he has a father maybe ll cool j could be playing his father i don't know <laughs> but i'm just throwing it out there that uh ll cool j is in talks with marvel to star in a role so i'm just gonna say that it's probably for to play the father of t'challa okay played by shadwick boss boseman all right so there you have it. that's all i gotta say for the marvel cinematic universe the last thing that i want to talk about is really just something very brief and that it is has been officially confirmed that channing tatum will be playing gambit okay the x-men spin-off the x-men character spin-off of gambit is officially has officially cast uh channing tatum as gambit and uh robocop writer joss zetumer zetumer will be writing the script for Gambit, okay? And that's it. You know, I always thought that Channing Tatum was a good choice. He can play, he can do a, a New Orleans accent, a, a Cajun accent. He he can do that accent, okay? And uh, I think he's going to pull it off uh, quite well. Uh, he's a very physical actor. And uh, you know what? I totally see him as Gambit. He's just got to grow that hair out long, put on the, the the costume, and you know what? He 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 can he can play that character. All right. So that's all I gotta say in this video. Stay tuned for episode number forty four of the Marvel edition because we got some big news about Sony and what's going on with the Spider Man franchise. I mean, there's not a whole lot of news about it lately, but a lot of rumblings. Okay, a lot of rumblings have been going on, and we got to talk about them. So stay tuned for episode number 44, and we're going to talk about Sony and the future of the Spider-Man franchise. That's all I got to say in this video. How do you feel about Ella Cool J playing a role in Marvel Cinematic Universe? Who do you think it's going to be? And how do you feel about Channing Tatum playing Gambit? And also, uh, most importantly, who do you think Jessica Chastain is going to play? Even though she denies that it's uh, Captain Marvel, it's only because they haven't talked about that role, okay? But she still can be playing Carol Danvers, okay? What do you guys think about that? I think it's perfect. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also, follow me on Twitter, at Rage Nation. My name is Alexi. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. And Dawn of Justice. Now, when you cast an actor like uh, uh, Jenna Malone, you don't just cast her as like, you know, like a, like a, like a, you know, a back.